Happy afternoon, yes, chairman. Happy, okay, how are you? Martin, you're happy, good afternoon. Okay. Right, uh, Santi. Uh, to keep a tire, you put it on your beer, then the tones are Maramoja. Yeah? I don't know what she did. Yeah. Up, eh? Yeah, I think so. Because of the match. We're coming, son. Yes. 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 Okay, I'm too tired. I'm going to go tired. You're good? You're good? So, so. Um, we'll go first in English. Uh, so, uh, welcome, ladies and gentlemen of the press. Uh, this is a press statement uh, release uh, from the county government of Kiambu. I'm Kemanu Matangi, the governor. And the press statement is on the ongoing strike by doctors and other health workers. Uh, members of the press, colleagues, and Kiambu residents and Kenyans at large. As we all know, there has been an ongoing nationwide doctor strike called by the Kenya Medical Practitioners and Dentist Union, KPMDU, and that has now, that has now entered the fourth week. Since then, other health cadres, namely clinical officers and laboratory technologists, have commenced strikes declared by their respective trade unions, that is the Kenya Union of Clinical Officers, and the Kenya National Union of Medical Laboratory Officers, KNUMLO. The industrial action and subsequent withdrawal of services by these cadres of staff has been attributed to the alleged non-implementation of the collective bargaining agreements, CBS, by the government alongside other demands put forward by the unions. It is quite saddening and unfortunate that Kiambu residents and Kenyans at large continue to suffer from the unjustifiable withdrawal of critical health services by doctors, clinical officers, and laboratory technologists. As concerns the ongoing strike by medical doctors and specialists, the county government of Kiambu, under my leadership, wishes to set the record straight and address misrepresentations by KMPDU on the status of implementation of the disputed areas of the strike. Number one is on the promotion of eligible doctors. The county government of Kiambu has continuously promoted doctors and when their promotions fall due and in line with the laid down regulations, procedures and available resources. Indeed, under my tenure in office, with effect from the 1st of March 2023, I promoted 770 health workers. This included 102 doctors, 23 consultants and specialists, 391 nurses, 64 public health officers, 66 support staff and 22 nutritionists, 49 clinical officers, and 38 medical laboratory uh, workers, and 15 pharmaceutical technologists. All these uh, workers within the healthcare uh, sector were promoted by my government, by myself, as from March 2023. These promotions 
were done and translated to a cost of Kenya shillings 150 million per year to our payroll. This money we have continued to pay up to today, today uh, to all those that were promoted. Number two is on the provision of comprehensive medical cover. All our county workers, including 302 doctors and consultants, are, en are enrolled into a comprehensive medical insurance cover fully procured, contracted, and funded by the county government. On the training of doctors, the county has on continuous basis granted postgraduate course approvals, study leave, and released medical officers for training in various specialty areas. We have currently 39 officers, medical officers, undertaking master's degree, degrees in various universities, locally and abroad, and who still draw a full salary from our county government. On the matter of salary delays and remittance of statutory deductions, under my tenure as the governor of Kiambu, and arising from prudent cash flow management, we have month by month ensured that all staff salaries, statutory deductions, and the applicable third-party deductions to banks, circles, among others, are paid to the staff bank accounts and to respective payees by the fifth day of every month. For the record, we have never had a salary delay. In the last one and a half years, even when there has been delays either in exchequer releases or other factors, and this I want to emphasize, that there has never been any single month in the entire of one and a half years when I've been in office, when there was a single salary delay for any month, um, our salaries or deductions are paid in time. On the question of provision of uh, house mortgage and car loan schemes, as a government, we are cognizant that our employees have over the years looked forward to a house mortgage and car loan scheme. My government is already considering a proposal to set aside necessary funds through the budget process aimed at operationalizing these schemes as guided by the Salaries and Remuneration Commission and, and therefore this is work in progress. So ladies and gentlemen, on the 15th of March 2024, I personally chaired a meeting in this boardroom with my leadership, with the leadership of the Kenya Medical Practitioners and Dentist Union, Kiambu branch, specifically to address the issues raised in their memorandum and to persuade the union to, to suspend the strike and ensure continuity of service, services in the healthcare sector in all our county health facilities. The meeting took stock of the above issues and appreciated that as a county government we have made significant progress on the implementation of the 2017-2021 CBS. Our plea to the union to ensure continuity of services was unfortunately disregarded therefore causing unnecessary suffering by, to the residents of Kiambu and other Kenyans from neighboring counties who seek treatment in our health care facilities. Further, despite the efforts made by the national government, the Doctors' Union has rejected the government's offers on the contested CBA matters that fall within the ambit of the national government, notably on deployment and payment of trainee doctors on internship. As a county government, and taking cognizance that provisions and delivery of healthcare services to a large extent is a devolved function, we therefore wish to pronounce ourselves as follows that the county government of Kiambu calls upon all doctors and consultants and specialists, clinical officers, and laboratory technology technicians currently on strike to immediately report back to duty in compliance with the court orders, failure to which the county will have no option but to implement the applicable disciplinary procedures provided under employment and labor laws and regulations. The county government of Kiambu will not 
process and pay salaries to any health worker who is absent from duty without lawful cause. And three, the leadership and, and management of the Department of Health Services is hereby required to apply the relevant administrative processes, namely strict supervision, among others, to ensure attendance to duty by all staff and full resumption of all health services in our facilities with immediate effect. The Health Services de Department to commence the disciplinary process and to recover any monies that may have been paid to any doctors, clinic officers, and laboratory technologists that fail to resume duty and have not been working. And the County Public Service Board is hereby requested to commence recruitment and advertise vacancies for positions of medical officers and specialists and consultants, among other health services personnel inclusive clinic officers and laboratory technicians to provide services to the citizens of Kiambu and other Kenyans. That the county government of Kiambu shall with immediate effect seize third party deductions from staff salaries for remittances for membership subscriptions on behalf of trade unions, namely KMPDU, KUKO, KNUMLO, until further notice. And number seven, while a number of doctors are on, straight, are on strike, a good number of doctors have decided to respect the law and are currently working. We would like to commend those doctors and to urge all other remaining doctors to respect their call to duty and responsibilities to their employer as per their employment contract. We are glad to report that health services in level two and three facilities are fully operational and we would like to thank the nurses and other health care providers who have continued to offer services to citizens including outpatient services in level 4 and level 5 facilities. We are in support of the efforts by the whole of the National Approach Committee chaired by the Chief of Staff and the Head of Public Service and we are confident that there shall be a sustainable solution on the disputes in the Kenyan health sector. So, kwa ufupi nataka ni seme tu ya kwamba sisi kama serikali ya kiambu tumeamua kulingana na vile mumesikia ni mesoma hapa kwenye hii habari na hii press statement ya kwamba sisi kama serikali ya county tumejitahidi sana kuhakikisha ya kwamba tumesuluhisha huu mgogoro kwa vile watu wetu hapa kaunti ya Kiambu wanafaa na wanahitaji kukuwa na huduma inayofaa kwenye tengo la afya lakini isipokuwa tumejaribu na vile nilivyosema tarehe 15 huu mwezi wa tatu mimi mwenyewe niliketi hapa kwenye boardroom yetu pamoja na viongozi wa union zote na nikaweza kuwaelezea na tukaelewana kwa vile tumekuwa tukiongea pamoja na tumefanya kazi pamoja nao ya kwamba sisi kama serikali ya county tumepiga hatua ambazo zimekuwa ni hatua za kusaidia na kuhakikisha ya kwamba tumefikiana kwa maelewano ya yale mambo ambayo wamekuwa wakiuliza sisi kama serikali nilivyosema tena kwa hii statement Mwaka uliopita tulipatia promotions kwa madaktari tulipatia promotions kwa clinicians kwa pharmacists tulipatia uh, promotions pia kwa nurses wote watu zaidi ya 770 ambaye ilitugarimu kama serikali ya county kutoka mwaka uliopita milioni hamsini kila mwaka tumeongeza kwa pay, payroll yetu kwa wage bill yetu ndio wale madaktari wetu wapate promotion na wakati tulikuwa na hicho kikao hapa kwenye hema yetu hapa inayoitwa Vasha tent walifurahia sana na kusema kwa miaka yote hakuna serikali ingine imewahi kuwafikiria na kupeana promotions kwa madaktari wetu hiyo tulifanya na inaendelea
mambo ya mishahara nimesema ya kwamba kutoka tuchukue ushukani kwenye hii serikali mwaka mmoja na nusu umepita hakuna mwezi mmoja ambapo siku moja kuna mshahara ulichelewa hata siku moja tunalipa hata kama ni zile deductions zote zinafaa kulipwa kupelekwa kwenye account za benki na wengine wanaohusika zote tumekuwa tunapeana kwa ule muda mwafaka mambo haya ya insurance ya madaktari wetu tumesema tuko na madaktari zaidi ya tatu na wawili wako ndani ya mpangilio wetu tunaolipia kama serikali ya county wakiwa wako covered fully na ile insurance hata ile inasimamia governor ndio inasimamia yule daktari na kwa hivyo tumechunguza haya isipokuwa tu ni ile jambo la kuulizana kama madaktari pia watapata mpangilio wa kupata loan ile tunaita mortgages hayo mengine yote tumekuwa tunatimiza na kwa hivyo kwa vile hii huduma ya matibabu ni huduma ambayo inakusudiwa kuwasaidia haswa kwenye hospitali za umma kwa watu wenye hawana nguvu watu wenye, wenye hawana pesa walioadhirika ndio tumesema kama serikali ya kwamba sasa ni lazima tuchukue hatua na ndio tuhakikishe ya kwamba mambo sasa yanaanza kutendeka vile inavyofaa na ndipo tukasema kutoka siku ya leo tunawauliza madaktari wote wote pamoja na clinicians na pharmacists warejee kazini warejee kazini mara moja waendelee na kazi yao sisi hakuna mahali kama serikali ya county tumekiukana ama tumekataa kutimiza yale ambao wamekuwa eh, wanafaa kupata kama wafanyikazi wa serikali hii ya county ya Kiambu na kutoka hapo tumesema pia tuta hatuta peana mshahara tena kwa mtu ambaye amegoma bila sababu na, na bila sheria vile sheria imewahi imetimiza na vile court orders imesema ya kwamba mgomo sasa ulivyo sio halali na hata kwetu sisi kama serikali tunaona ya kwamba sio halali na tunajua sio halali kwa vile sisi tumetenda yetu tumesema ya kwamba hao viongozi wote walioko kwenye tengo letu hili la health services waanze kukagua kimakini sasa kuendelea mbele kuhakikisha kwamba kila mfanyikazi daktari clinician wote wameingia na wameripoti kwenye kazi ambapo sasa ikipatikana wewe haupo kazini sasa usitulaumu ujilaumu wewe mwenyewe tumesema ya kwamba pia department yetu waanze utaratibu ule wa kuadhibisha na kugadhabisha wenye ambao wameenda kwa mgomo bila sababu na bila kufuata utaratibu wa sheria kwa vile sio haki watu wetu wengi wanaumia wamama wanapanga laini kule kwa mahospitali hamna daktari watoto wengine wamepata shida tofauti wengine wamechomeka maji moto wamefanya nini hawapati watu wa kuwatibu ila sisi mshahara tumelipa ila sisi allowances tumepeana ila sisi insurance tumepeana na ndio tunasema ya kwamba hayo yote tunataka kuhakikisha ya kwamba e, yamerekebishwa na madaktari wetu tumesema pia kama serikali ya county mara moja tutaacha sasa kulipa zile deductions ambazo tunapeana kwenye hizo chama za hizo KPM, KMPDU na zinginezo akina kuko na kumlo kwa vile wale hawajaongoza watu wao kwa haki na mimi nataka niseme kama governor nikimalizia kwa vile tulikuwa tumeketi hapa pamoja na sisi hongea ukweli mpaka viongozi wa union hapa Kiambu wenyewe mbele yangu walikubali wakasema sisi kama Kiambu tumetembea nao kwa safari sawa sawa tumewalipa na wakasema tu wanaingia kwa mgomo kwa vile wanataka kushirikiana na wengine sio kwa vile hawa haswa wako na malalamiko yao kibinafsi walisema we are doing that in sympathy with the others but not the people of Kiambu na sasa wale watu wenye wanaumia sasa ni watu wa Kiambu ndio tumesema hayo mambo yote e, yatakuwa hivyo kuendelea mbele tunatarajia ya kwamba kufikia siku ya kesho kila daktari amerudi kazini kila clinician amerudi kazini kila nurse amerudi kazini asiyerudi basi 
ajue mambo yale atampata asitulaumu tumewa tumewaamrisha na kuwauliza e, viongozi wetu ambao tumepatia kazi kwa department hiyo watoe orodha ya wale watu wanahitajika na tukauliza public service board yetu nao waanze shughuli ya kutangaza watangaze kazi kwa mad, ya madaktari na nurses na na, na, na wale clinicians na hawa watu wengine wa pharmacists yote wacha itangazwe ndio watu wasiwaache kuumia tukipata wenye watakubali kufanya kazi na wenye watajiorodhesha sisi tunawapatia kazi mara moja mwenye anarudi kazini ataendelea kazi sisi hatuna haja ya kuadhibisha watu watu warudi kazini wakirudi kazini tufanye kazi na kwa hivyo nataka ni malizie kushukuru sana kwa vile kwa hospitali zetu za level 3 na level 2 kazi inaendelea kwa zile outpatient services kwa hospitali za level 4 na level 5 zinaendelea kuna nurses wetu wengi ambao wanaendelea na kazi tuko na madaktari we, wengine wachache ambao wamekubali kuendelea na kazi nataka tuseme hao watu wote sisi tumesema asanti kwa hao madaktari ambao wanaendelea wale nurses wanaendelea tunasema asanti hata wengine kitengo chochote ambao wanaendelea tunasema asanti e, kwa hivyo huo ndio msimamo wetu kama serikali ambayo imepatiwa kazi ya kuwajibika kushughulikia e, wananchi wetu hapa ndani ya kaunti ya Kiambu nasema asanti Mungu awabariki awatende vyema tunatarajia madaktari wetu na wengineo watasikia kilio cha wakenya na warudi kazini bila kuendeleza huo mgomo hata siku moja ama dakika moja zaidi ya hivyo basi asanteni na mbarikiwe ni mwenyezi Mungu kwa ni kwa yake abu hatire odo orono mwe ogewe to ni dagitari oige ithwe to tahingitie na nikio dashokera haa doiga ate mwaka uria urahitukire dali kia gutonya wabishini ta governor mweru thutha wa githurano wirole da bire kurutira madagitari ni kumeta othe na ale marutaga wira hamwe nao ale marita go clinicians na do laboratory besha matuire masharagia miaka 30 tondu ni go moigire promotion ni era to mali age magome kenya ngima Dama here ile haha muthenyo umwe madagitari na ruti ile age adu magana mugwaja ma mirongo mugwaja ge mahe promotion muthenyo umwe ogwe ni kuga ati hari mushara uri atori haga giogerera milioni igana rimwe ra mirongo etano nigatha makorogo makire ho besha icio na gutire digo icira ni hari count ge hinda ri yogereire adu acio besha kana ko he promotions thutha wa ogwe tugicoka twari kya kuiguithania Mishara ya wele ya ratu ma adu wa gima gome Kudu wana kuhika liete kaunte igi wana mudo watani muhu mshara Mieliye ili mieliye tatu Kaunte ya kia bu Mwakamu gima na nuzuku madato nya wavishi Gutiri mbushara ule wa shelero mudo nyo rono mwe Mieliye othe Mwakamu gima na nuzuku Kuku hatiri geto mige goto ma mudo atuweke ate Liagodhi ye kuku mato wa mshara wa kena kudu ili wa shelero Nye notisi ili kudu ilikali ya kuera ya Virikali yito na hea na notice ya kugati mudu othe dagitari na lea maruta kama wira na mo nao ashi wa clinicians na doa pharmacy othe mashe oke wira orole mwe orole u ado maabere liya kushwa kama di vitali ini wira ini wawo ni todo maga kwe kogu ni daga di teta governor ati kuma ha hatu tikuli ha mudu tala uta wira mushara kwa huo modole da kana le ho mushara na ni da ya department ya kwa ya health matiga tare da modu tare wira mushara nigaetha modu a a atwe itwa te kwenda guikara mushie agikale mushie tare na mushara toiga marihima na modu tore haga union icio na maria tore haga vegi ciao matikole ho rege ginya ndu mabe macoke wira mbeca icio tore haga na cio madagitari ni iria tore hagia tumia thokoini ni iria tore hagia andu amatatu makipaki ni ile tole hagia mukenya uri ora ora paki hala ni ile tole hagia aciari acia na icio ora igwa ciari cio mathivitari tharo na mudu wa kumathondeka tutigyo ya mbeca cia muingi o ale mara ale ame na mathina tukali handu maregete guthie wira na nikyo twa merothe mokire mabie guthie wira ini theini wa county ya kiambu gutire gitumiyoro na kimwe kia dagitari gukorwa tari wira maudu mari amakore tumakiria manini tu uhoro wege gukorwa tene mahe agoro ni kana mogeji ni wira turaruta na tutana kinyi hadu hari ngoko we mureku 
Madagitali mo the maki abu ni maheto insurance ni kaunti yake abu madagitali magana matatu na ele me insurance ele ya governor ena yo ona omena yo kwa ugo hati le getu miyoro na kimo yake ago koro matale wera ine na nekio daiga mwode nye wamwode ta governor ni tuwa mera mashi oke ma wera ine maji ya kutu ugati rado wa kenya kuligana na wera wao ule ya meru tete ule ya madho midhetio ni edhirikali ni gaitha madutake na udo wa mwadhi ya hiyo la igere kia nako ne kuga newe ya gata mwadhi ya gata mwadhi ya maga koro maga tuwe sire na maga sire furu yu na ajira ira ya gere ire mwadhi ya gata 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 ya gata mwadhi ya gata ya university mwadhi ya gata mwadhi ya medical school na dhukuru isio mishara ya alema mwadhi ya mwadhi ya gata ilo ire ire ya goko shire ya goko ne iga otiri ya leru togo ni mwadhi ya kenya Nekenda mbodoshi wa kena certificate ya kwetoa dagitale. Kutire dagitale wedho mitha kia primary. Na kutire mwoda dagitale wedho mitha kia university ya public. Othe mali hakiro. Mandhi ya kule medical school ni besha shia mwige. Ima dho mitha kia. Kukigetuwe kati ya te mwige wago dho mithia. Wage ya nata ito nene. Wage ya nake dho monoge na dho be. Ati shoke nige utoke nige wadhi kukumiza. Alia o de mago do mide tena mago kira mago do mago nega da oge na 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 gaturu an oge na gedo mo ogu hau ni hotole dasho kia gado da giomono unero ituali ito ituali kani ra service body no ito na chia manua service body ha ha secretary wa service body ha ha kumaro shio ma jiego ta gada mawera ma dagitali ma clinicians ai kwa wewe moshi ndio dawe ra dagitali wana advertisement diwa apply. Nega dha aya maki kira kwa ushau kwa wira idoto jiko kwa kira adu dini wama wira na nega dha adu ituna umadi na bena kugena huduma ili ya giri ili. Basi simu tayari kuhusu hayo ni yoni hii mwatini ya rukai manaka na maji shau kwa wira na mbogo dina tayari. Leo no mbogo shau kwa wira basi jikai tuwe shau kio no mbogo shau kwa wira ego shau kio basi hata hii ni kwa kuhusu hotole thank you muradi mo ni gai asante ni sana. Thank you.